Breaking news we're getting from the PA Newswire that there's been reports of an explosion outside Liverpool Street Station. It's part and parcel of uh, living in a uh, great global city. Part and, part, and part, 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 part and parcel of uh, living in a uh, great global city, 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 city. Reports are just coming in of an explosion at Liverpool Street Station here in London. And that all day, I've confirmed a bomb damage to train, one carriage completely wiped out. Part and parcel. And the whole of the London underground is now shut. Part and parcel. We're now also hearing that there have been further incidents at Russell Square. Part and parcel. There are two trains stuck in tunnels at Edgware Road. We're now hearing reports that a bus has been uh, ripped apart in an explosion in central London. Part, 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 part and parcel of uh, living in a uh, great global city. What I find uh, unacceptable though is some of those who've got legitimate objections joining hands uh, with some of those outside who are part of a far right, far right, far, 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 far right group who are... <laughs> some of those outside are part of the far right. Some are, some are COVID deniers. Some are vaccine deniers. And some are Tories. 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 I wrote about knife crime in the capital because really it's about the growing feeling that on the streets of London you can do as you please. That an elderly man, 87 years old, murdered in his mobility scooter. Just such a shocking crime. But it just shows you, again, this is in broad daylight, it shows you the level of, of, of bravery that criminals have in London. And I think it's time that we did something about it. I think it's long overdue. And the other incident that pushed me as well is the fact that on Oxford Street, we had a mob just descend on Oxford Street, loot shops, fight with the police, and then disperse and go their merry way. These things are close to a huge amount of public disorder. We need to tackle them now. That means backing the police and asking them to do a better job. Now, uh, in the uh, Daily Telegraph today, it's a report that Sadiq Khan blames the spate of London murders on the cost of living crisis and the and the hot weather. What so, do you? What do you? What seems bizarre to me? But what do you? What do you make of uh, of that? Look, it's par for the course for Sadiq Khan. Why he's been such a terrible mayor, he'll never take responsibility for anything. If he doesn't think that there's things that can be done to fix crime, then we're all in trouble. And not just in London, by the way. The crime in London is so bad now, we're exporting it across the country, the county lines or whatever. So the whole country has a stake in this being solved. And look, to blame, he's blamed it on parents, he's blamed it on Twitter, he's now blamed it on the weather and cost of the living crisis. The thing I know that he doesn't know, most poor people have absolutely nothing to do with crime. They spend all their time trying to make ends meet, not going out committing crimes. This is just to cover the fact that for six years now, he hasn't managed the police pro properly, and we're seeing the result. You heard it, didn't you? If, you? if you disagree with the mayor, he's gonna paint you as far right. If you disagree with the mayor, he's gonna say you're a science denier. He's gonna say you're a COVID denier. He's gonna say you're a flat earther. He's gonna say you think there are aliens in Buckingham Palace and Mr. Blobby shot Kennedy. He's gonna throw all this crazy stuff at you because he doesn't want to address the fact that you've got legitimate concerns. Now, I used this analogy the other week. The mayor talks about, he says it's similar to banning smoking in pubs, it isn't. What the mayor is saying is, you can't smoke in pubs unless, unless you pay me £12.50 and then you can smoke in pubs. Also, if you are going to pay £12.50 and smoke in pubs, you need to buy the cigarettes off me because that's what it's about. It's about finance. At the end of the day, this is about the mismanagement of TFL.